the, I think it's the power that congressmen have uh, creates uh, various interest groups, various lobbies, um, and uh, and I and I think that they uh, uh, it doesn't bode well for for liberty uh, in our country, and so a lot of people will say, well, gee, we need to somehow limit the money going to Washington by these various lobby groups. They spend uh, billions and billions of dollars. Uh, uh, lobbying congressmen for this and lobbying congressmen for that. Well, people say, well, we need to restrict the amount of money come to Washington. I say, no, you're making a mistake. What you need to do is to restrict the power that congressmen have. That is, if we allow them to have all the power that they do have over our lives, well, then surely somebody wants to buy it. But if you restrict their power, then, uh, then you don't have to worry about the money coming to Washington. You, you don't find people spending a whole lot of money uh, getting their congressmen. Uh, um, they're not spending millions and billions of dollars getting our getting their uh, congressmen to uphold the United States Constitution. But what they what they do spend money on, they want special favors. They want special laws written in their favor. Uh, matter of fact, if you look at the two most powerful committees of Congress. They are the House Ways and Means Committee and the Senate Finance Committee. <coughs> Excuse me. And those two committees are in charge of distributing tax favors. And so people will go and spend a lot of money trying to influence the decision of those uh, committees and as other committees as well, but those just happen to be the mo two most powerful ones.